Once you've created your assignment, students will work on it, then they'll turn it in. So let's talk about grading. I'm gonna take you to a class that has some assignments already turned in. You can do this several ways. You can go to the hamburger and click on it and click on home. And you'll see a list of all your classes, or you can pick one right out of this list here. And I know this class has some assignments already turned in. And if you notice here, I have an assignment. It was assigned on January 3rd and it's due April or January 25th. And it was, it's due April 30th, but I have 13 people who've turned it in. So you can go ahead and click on the number of assignments that are done and it'll pop up for student work. And here you have a list of all the people who have finished that assignment. You can do quite a few things from this page. You can grade these assignments. You can um, email the students who have done these assignments. Maybe you just want to tell them, hey, I got your assignment. It'll be graded by such and such a date. Um, you can only email if email has been set up for all of your students through your domain administrator. You can also go to the folder in your own personal Google Drive that's connected to this classroom account that will also have all of these assignments listed. Just a little note, once a student turns something in, and you'll see it in the student view, there's a little turn in button, they can't fix anything else. Once they turn it in, it's yours until you return it to them. So I'm gonna show you that return. Now, Google gives you a default amount of points, 150, 20, and one. Maybe this is an assignment that's ungraded. I don't know, I grade everything. If it's something that's ungraded and you just wanna give them feedback, you can click ungraded. These are not your only options. This particular assignment is only worth 15 points. So to make it worth 15 points, you can go up here, highlight 100, type in 15, and click your return key. You'll get a pop-up that says update point value. You can do this at any point. Maybe you made a mistake and realized, hey, this is really supposed to be 19 points. You can change it at any time, even after you've graded assignments. Go ahead and click update, and that'll make this 15 points. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose one of these. I'll just choose the first one. You click on the student's name, and underneath of it is their work product or the thing that they've turned into you. Click on it, and there's the assignment that this student has, has completed. At this point, you can go through, look at, did they do everything correctly? You can give them feedback. You can comment on things. Um, commenting is a really nice feature here. Um, up here in your toolbar, there is a comment button. If you click on it, you'll get this pop-up here. You can type in whatever feedback you'd like to give your student. And a nice job. And click comment. And that comment will pop up right here. And it actually pops up in spreadsheets right over your spreadsheet. If you don't like this comment or you wanna remove it, there's the ice cream cone, click edit. You can cancel it. You can also delete it. It'll confirm and it'll get rid of that comment. We'll talk about comments later on in another video. Once you've done this, and I've already taken a look at this one, this person earned all 15 points. You go back to your classroom, and if you notice, the assignment popped up in its own tab, which is very nice. It makes navigation very simple. You click on the words no grade, and you type in the points that this student has earned, and it'll pop up here in a 15 over 15. And if you notice here, this student's score, or this student's name, the box next to it is toggled. Before you leave this page, you want to click return. Now you can grade all of these or however many you have. They'll save. Don't navigate away from this page until you quick click return. Once you click return, students will be notified either through email or when they open up their classroom next time. And then they will have access to work on that particular product again. Maybe one of your comments is, hey, fix this and resubmit it to me. That's completely possible in Google Classroom. But just a warning, make sure that you click this return button. Now, I don't wanna return this one to this particular student just yet. 
So I'm going to go in and take out those points just for now. Um, you can also add a private comment, something that only that student will see. Um, you can give more feedback, such as please revise and return, or good job. You just click post, and that comment will come up so only that student can see it. If you want to delete, same thing. You come to the ice cream cone, click delete. There's also an edit feature there as well if you need to you know, fix a spelling mistake. Something else that you can do from this page is you can go to the Google Drive folder. All of these assignments are not only saved in your classroom, but they also get saved to whatever folder or whatever Google Drive this classroom is attached to. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. It'll take you to your drive. And sometimes it takes a moment to load. And it will show you the same list of all of the students who have been assigned this particular assignment, whether they're finished or not. So you might open up one of these and see that they're blank because the student hasn't done the assignment yet. This is just a nice backup in case something gets returned or a student said, hey, I turned that in, you never graded it. This is another place where you can go to make sure that those assignments have, have been done. I don't use this a whole lot. I try to do everything right in classroom. It saves a lot of clicking. Here we are back at the student assignments. There's one other spot here called instructions. And what that does is it shows you just that assignment and exactly what did you ask students to do. Maybe you're like me, grading happens a little ways down the road after students have turned things in. You can go back and read exactly your directions. Maybe your directions weren't very clear and you're noticing that students are missing the same thing, every student. You can go back and realize, oh, maybe my directions weren't that clear. So that way you can check yourself against your student work. I'm going to click back on student work here. And if you notice, at this point, it shows all of the work, even students who haven't turned them in yet. The nice thing here is it shows you whether or not, it gives you a status, whether or not students are done. These three students have not completed this assignment yet. That's okay because it's not due. This student is done, so I can go ahead and grade that one. This one's done. And you can grade that just from this screen also, you don't have to go into those just done assignments. Let's go on back. Um, and we're at this point going to discard the changes because we were just doing this as a demonstration. And that back arrow will take you back to your stream.